All right, let's have the conversation. When it comes to live streaming options, who comes out on top? Is it StreamYard or is it OBS? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Coach Molly from Visibility Hacking Studios and we love live streaming because it helps us as small brands, as entrepreneurs, as solopreneurs, as digital entrepreneurs and digital marketers, it helps us reach a much wider audience in a way that feels authentic, that nurtures those relationships. And no matter what platform you're using, live streaming is the future. We've been talking to a whole slew of entrepreneurs lately who are excited to get their live streaming experiences started, to start connecting with their audiences using what we like to call connection machines. But with learning a new technology comes a ton of questions. So we've actually condensed those questions to help you take action sooner. So welcome to the battle of StreamYard versus OBS. In today's video, we're going to start out by talking about the learning curve and ease of use between these two platforms. Which one will win out? We're going to find out. And then we're going to talk specifically between these two platforms about what happens when you bring guests onto your show. And finally, my favorite topic, we're going to talk about customization and how easy it is and how much customization do you actually have on StreamYard versus OBS. So before we get started though, let me know which platform you think will win out. We'll see by the end of the video if I've changed your mind. Head to head, round one. Let's talk about the learning curve and ease of use between StreamYard and OBS. Actually, this one's pretty easy to answer. If you want the easier to use platform, the quicker to learn platform, the take action faster platform, start with StreamYard because it's browser based, which means you don't need to download anything. You don't need to configure anything fancy on your computer. And it's also the same for your guests, which is fantastic. See, StreamYard is, as I said, browser based and it's very graphically oriented. It's just a bunch of buttons that you click. You don't need to read any text really. It's very uh, intuitive in its way of, of use. On the other hand, OBS is one of the most powerful tools on the market right now and it's open source technology. So it might not be the most beautiful or the most graphically designed, but it is a absolute powerhouse. And therefore the learning curve is pretty darn steep. Tr truly, I've been using it for three years now and I'm still learning new things every single day. The other thing I wanna draw your attention to is that StreamYard, because it's browser-based, is going to be a very similar experience across all different platforms. Whether you're using Mac or Windows, whether you have Windows XP or you have Windows whatever number they're at now, um, the experience is going to be the same or pretty close to the same no matter where you are. You can have it set up on your, your computer in your studio and then you can also have it set up on a computer when you're on vacation, for example. Um, whereas OBS is going to have your files and everything is going to be sitting on one hard drive. So you're locked into one location. So if you like to be flexible, you like to take action sooner, start with StreamYard. You like to get nerdy, you like to learn about more technology, you like to find out how to use really powerful tools, then go with the steeper learning curve of OBS. Question of the day, if you have a live show out there, are you using StreamYard, OBS, something else? Let us know down in the comments. Round two, let's talk about bringing guests onto our show. We can talk for hours about how important it is to expand your audience. If you're trying to expand your audience, you wanna bring guests on, you wanna be able to share your message with their audiences as well. And you also want to be able to show that connection and how what it's like to work with you. And that always happens when we have that connection, the ability to chat with someone else live on our show. But 
The reality is there's a whole new technological leap that we have to take in order to make this a reality. So if you like easy to use things, as we just found out in the last round, then start with StreamYard because StreamYard, you simply click a link. It'll give you an individual link for that episode. You send it over to your guests and they're able to log in without having to download anything, without any fancy plugins. And uh, from a technological perspective, it doesn't use as much of your hard drive and your RAM and the brain power of your computer. So it actually ends up running really, really well. On the other hand, if you want to use OBS, well, you're going to have to find another platform um, to bring your guests on because OBS doesn't do that natively. So what you're going to have to do is bring up a Zoom link or even um, or, or a Google Meet link or even a StreamYard link, which I have seen many, many people do before, um, where you're actually offloading the guest and the hosting part of that to a different platform. And then you have to bring in either a screen share or a window share. Um, and then you have to do a whole new set of hoops to jump through to bring the audio in and make sure that the timing's right. And it's a much, much bigger headache. And the other thing is that it's going to be a different experience whether you're on Mac or you're on PC when you're using OBS. Um, so again, if you like to set things up and go through that rabbit hole of learning all of that technology, then, then go with OBS. But if you're trying to take action and move quicker and, and instead of trying to learn an entirely new skill set, you just want to start taking action and connecting with your community and you have guests coming onto your show, then just use StreamYard. So StreamYard for the win when it comes to bringing on guests on your show. I consider you so much more than a guest. I consider you part of the family. And if you want to feel like you're part of the family too, then hit that subscribe button and join us here on the channel. Let's talk about my favorite topic, which is customization, customizing your live stream. So first, off, one of the biggest ways to show that your brand is not that savvy is to just use a free uh, StreamYard account. So you have the StreamYard logo, you got all the StreamYard branding, and what you don't see is your own brand's branding in there. And that isn't the most professional thing to do. So of course, you can pay for an account on StreamYard and you can change up some of the graphics. You're a little bit limited on the platform um, to what kinds of graphics and how easy they are to change as you change the layouts on your scenes, but it is easy to use. But if you want really powerful customization, you want to be able to control everything. You want transitions to happen. You want music to happen. You want pre-recorded videos. You want to change your layouts. You want effects. You want all of that kind of stuff. Then you're definitely going to want to lean more towards OBS. Yes, OBS is a little bit more of a headache to learn, but what it gives you, the full customization it allows you is so freaking powerful. And from a branding perspective, you want to have as much control over putting your brand personality and your brand voice into your show as possible. Basically, in the visibility hacking world, we have this mentality that we want to be able to see your show before we hear your show. We want to know that your show is your show when we're simply scrolling through really, really fast. We want that Boom, visual authority. And we get that, yeah, for the most part, when we use StreamYard, we have wonderful tricks um, and strategies around the, the restrictions that StreamYard gives you. But man, when we get a client who is excited to use OBS, we create the most beautiful experiences from moment, from the mo first moment you see this show to the last moment before it ends. Everything is custom designed for that that brand. And it speaks completely differently um, than it would in just a StreamYard show. But of course, that's another headache. That's another um, hurdle to learn all of those things. But in the visibility hacking world, if you're one of our clients, we make it as easy as possible. We give you step-by-step -step guides. We walk you through. And heck, we even have live producers to do all the work for you behind the scenes. But that is a conversation for another day, my friends. So I guess if I have to decide between StreamYard and OBS, I'm actually torn because it depends on where you are with your movement and your vision with your brand. So 
I say go Team StreamYard if you're just getting started, if you want to take action quicker, and if you don't want to go through the hassle of learning an entirely new program. But of course, if you want full customization, you want to jump in with two feet, you want to take action as big big actions rather than fast actions, um, then I definitely say learn the OBS way, uh, learn that full customization, and join us in our Facebook community. If you have questions, if you want to know more about it, if you want to see great examples of our show, and most importantly, if you want to be part of a community of business owners who use their content specifically to connect and nurture with their audiences rather than just creating content for the sake of content and making noise out there. Join us over in our Facebook group. You can either type in visibility hacking into the Facebook search engine or... You can head over to visibilityhacking.com. Click the link at the top of the page that says become a visibility hacker. Click that link. It'll drop you over into our group. And we cannot wait to see you over there until we do, my friends. Remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other. And just go live because your people are out there and they're waiting for you.